Daddy D, if it ain't going down at the Bunny Ranch, it ain't going down at all. It's going down, going down. What's up, everyone? Hello, hello. I'm James, and this is the Bunny Ranch Podcast. As you can see, I have a beautiful woman next to me, Autumn Verlo. Now, <laughs> Autumn came from Kit Kat originally, mm-hmm. and then she came over here to Sagebrush when we reopened. Yep. You know, Autumn, give me a little bit of a backstory on who you are. Uh, I'm really goofy and fun, and I don't know. I <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I like to have fun, and I have a lot of friends here that we like to get into shenanigans, and I don't, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, how long have you been with uh, the company? Um, two and a half, three years, somewhere in there. Okay. Yeah. So, a cumulative, not even the 14 months we were gone. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Dang. I guess it has been that long. Yeah. I guess it's almost about three years. Yeah. Roughly for you. Yeah. So, one of the big things, obviously, we were closed. What, what did you do while we were closed for those 14 months, you know? What, what kept you busy? What, how did you stay in shape? Obviously, you look the same or even better than what you did Thanks. before you left. <laughs> So, what exactly, how did you keep in shape? Oh, well, I had COVID. <laughs> I guess that could keep in shape. <laughs> no, after, after I had COVID... I gained like the COVID-15 or it was probably more than that. <laughs> yeah. But um, I really enjoy working out and I just got back into it after I had the COVID. And, you know, I, I haven't had any effects after. Some people say they have like post-COVID symptoms. I'm totally healthy. I haven't even had COVID since hmm. or been sick really. Yeah. But how did I stay in shape? Yeah. Um, That's the big question. <laughs> how did you do it? Obviously, COVID helped a little, but Co- you know, mm. what, what exactly? Because the COVID definitely didn't do it all. Mm, yeah. No, I, I don't know. I like to work out and I live in a place that's kind of like here. It's sunny most of the time and I like to go on hikes and walks and I like to go for runs. And then also I lift a lot of weights when I'm at home and I like to cook. And so, yeah. Don't go out to eat a lot, and I don't want to go into too much detail, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and if you look at her Twitter, too, she does post. Mm-hmm. What, I do a lot uh, of workout videos like, on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. Every And week, cooking every videos, weeks, yeah. yeah. There was a few cooking ones cooking there, too. Cooking videos, yeah. So definitely something to check out if yeah. you're really interested in working out, because you do give tips and tricks, and mm-hmm. you're explaining what you do and during those videos a lot, yeah. too. So. Yep. Um, you know, what kind of... What kind of food do you like? Like, what is your favorite type of food? Oh, I love everything. So, like, well, everything, that's, <laughs> that's a broad statement there, you know, but if someone was coming in, they wanted to bring you food that day, like, sushi. Come see you. Sushi. Bring me sushi. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sushi. There you go. Um, <laughs> I know we do have a few sushi places out here, so yeah. definitely sushi would be a good sushi. idea. Sushi. There's good sushi places out here, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's a few restaurants around that are all you can eat sushi, which is yeah, rare I've been for to a lot one. Of yeah, yeah, so yeah. definitely a fun place you can take off to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, kind of give me like think back to when you first came here, right? Mm-hmm. What was that feeling when you first walked through the doors um, at Kit Kat when you first started? Like, how how did that like how did that whole experience like from the get go? Because uh, people listening and people watching obviously have no idea. Yeah. Like anything what we do sometimes. Mm-hmm. Some people are just tuning in now. Some right. people have heard it before. Yeah. You know, some people don't know that Bunny Ranch was on HBO. But yeah. We're at Sagebrush. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I'm even wearing one of the Sagebrush shirts. Yeah. So what exactly, like, you know, how did, how did it start? Like, explain, like, from the beginning. Like, oh when you first thought of coming <laughs> here to when you first started to, like, all the emotions. Let's okay. go into that. Sure. So I used to do, like, camming. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just kind of wanted a transition. So, yeah, I looked up the Bunny Ranch, and I was like, well, well, I'll try to apply. So 
the next week, um, I got a phone call and they're like, can you come in like next Thursday? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm really nervous. I don't know. Like I had another job and yeah, I was really nervous. And then, but you know what? Everybody was really helpful and they're like, you need to bring all these things. And cause some people don't know, like we need all our supplies. And, but like when I first walked in that door, I was so nervous. I think I stayed in my room, like the whole, that whole day after, Cause we had tea parties yeah. when we had tea party. Yep. So I did tea party and then I just kind of like went in my room and that was it. Yeah. And they were like, well, you need to go to sheriff the next day. So I gave me sheriff's card and then, yeah. And that was it. And I was really nervous and I still get nervous even though I've been doing this for a while, but yeah. So it's very nerve wracking. Yeah. A lot of yeah. nerve wracking. So obviously after the first time, mm-hmm. you know, does it get easier? Obviously you say you still get nervous now, but yeah. does it get a little easier? It definitely time? gets easier. Yeah. Okay. It, it definitely gets easier. You know, like, Oh, that wasn't so bad. You know, it was kind of fun, but yeah, definitely nerve wracking. Okay. Yeah. Now let's fast forward a little bit. What would be, what was that experience like when you first came back after when we first reopened? Like when you, cause you came back a little bit afterwards. Yeah. I think so, I, in June. Yeah. Yeah. So, cause we opened back in, uh, in May. May. Yeah. So, um, you came back a month afterwards, mm-hmm. obviously we're going, what was that like? How did you feel? Cause you know what, like, cause it's going to be different emotions. Yeah. Back, right. Cause you just came back right? and you know, you see across the street that is still there yeah but you know what how like give me that information like what exactly you feel (laughs) like even now today but right that first day back I was a little nervous but it was it was really like we hadn't been closed it was like picking up where I left off pretty much the only thing that was nerve I was nervous about was that there was a lot of girls here that I didn't know but that yeah that was it it was like I was haven't been gone for 14 months. Yeah. 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 I think the um, big thing people didn't realize, like when Sagebrush reopened and yeah. Bunny Ranch reopened both at the same time. Yeah. Um, we brought in people from Kit Kat and yeah. the ranch to both branches. Like right. We mixed everyone together, mm-hmm. plus new people coming in. Yeah. Um, that went for the working girls. That went for the staff as yep. well. Yeah. Because we have staff that were Bunny Ranch that are now Sage, that yep. Love Ranch that are Sage. Yeah. And so on and so forth, even at Bunny. Yep. So um, it's kind of a mixture. And to see the different, like, yeah. everyone. Every different dynamic continue. of everybody. Yeah. 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 Because, I mean, uh, even after we opened, because, yeah, I'm getting to work with a lot of people that generally didn't a lot of see some right. of us, even yeah. as regular staff, mm-hmm. all the time. Now yeah. some of you at Sage see us a lot. Yeah, Bunny, they see us a lot more too. Yeah, and you're, it's kind of interesting to see the different dynamic and also see like um, how all the girls came together too. Right. Yeah. You yeah. Know? But how, how's the vibe in the house? So like, I obviously, you know, I obviously have a different version of what I can see. Right. You know, but you're down on the front lines with all those girls, like <laughs> kind of like. You know, kind of like a, know, like a little mini sorority or something, it is, right? It is. That's, yeah. It's like our sisterhood. Yeah. It's usually the vibe of the house is pretty good. It's pretty positive. We try to encourage each other. I mean, there's hiccups along the way, but when you basically live with other people, it's going to happen. But yeah, it's it's mostly positive. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. You know. mm-hmm. Tell me about like one of your craziest moment like the craziest <laughs> like party you can't go into obviously details like, <laughs> anything like that but like give me like one of those craziest like parties like the wildest or like the craziest party, the wildest like, whatever whatever you think is something hmm. give, give me like a kind of like your top memory of one of those crazy parties oh i have so many <laughs> <laughs> i mean we got plenty of time <laughs> Oh, my, I don't, I don't know. It depends on what your definition of crazy is. Kind of like out of the ordinary or like, wow, I've never even heard of that. I mean. <laughs> Anything. Let's start with, um, give me your most fun one first. And then we'll go into your like, you know, wow, that kind of shocked me. Kinda. Yeah. Let's, let's give them something fun and then let's shock them. Well, maybe not really shock. Okay. Um, like, don't like, plug me in and shock me. How, but, <laughs> how much detail can I go into? <laughs> I mean, you can go to decent detail, just not, um, obviously, I won't say names, anything explicit. Yeah. And like, you know, little things like, cause right. obviously privacy is a big thing with us. Yeah. So, but like, what, what, what was that like best moment that you had? Like the best, most fun party. I, okay. I then go from there. Okay. I definitely have, I have one that comes to mind. 
And one of my Twitter followers came in and he was like, oh, I'm going to bring you a present. And I didn't even, I've never met him before or even had a party with him. Mm -hmm. And he was like, well, we're going to, I mean, he decided on the spot we were going to have a party and he wanted to do a food party, but he didn't have like all his supplies. So we had a really nice first party, which it it, it was nice because I like to give massages and take bubble baths and, you know, share a glass of wine and stuff. But then he had, after that, he had come back that night and he brought like strawberries and whipped cream. So we had a fun food party and yeah, that, that was really fun because I was mostly relaxing the whole time. <laughs> now, now, when you say food party, yeah. what exactly is is that? Like, did you just have dinner? No. Or did you have a food fight? What, what you, like, <laughs> I wish like, I I, I'm fun. kind of like lost here in the food party because I've seen and heard a lot of things. Yeah. But I don't know what your food party would have been. Well, we did what he wanted to do. Well, so he basically just sprayed whipped cream all over me and then set strawberries all over my body and just ate it off of me. And yeah, it was just really, it was really fun. He gave me a massage while I was doing it. Yeah. It was okay. Really fun. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, that sounds like actually a really fun time. It was fun. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What's some things that have thrown you off? Like something that, you know, you wouldn't have, you know, kind of thought of. Um, I've definitely, I've definitely had parties where, um, one of us has fallen off the bed or tripped over something <laughs> or hurt ourselves. <laughs> it's a normal day. <laughs> Pretty much a normal day for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did have one time where um, I was sitting cross leg and I hope this doesn't happen now, but um, I went to get up and my leg had fallen asleep and I fell. <laughs> but this, yeah, I fell and he was like, are you okay? And I was totally sober. Ish. <laughs> totally sober. Ish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I swear it was my leg. My leg was asleep. <laughs> Always. But yeah, that leg. sometimes just, you know, the bedding gets thrown off the bed or we play around on the, I'm really goofy. I'm really goofy. Play around on the pole in the fantasy suite or fall on the pole in the fantasy suite or <laughs> anything. <laughs> I guess that's a collective, uh, you know parties crazy parties i don't know i have a lot <laughs> and i have a reputation so <laughs> well you yeah, know yeah. I mean, yeah hey it's okay you know always like i mean anyone at home listening or watching can easily yeah. attest you know sometimes when you know sex gets that good or it's getting going right sometimes yeah, yeah you know my you reputation fall, you fall, fall off the bed you fall know off the bed yeah yeah it, it happens right like you just get moving and then all of a sudden Yep. Or, yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. like you don't notice how far you are from the edge of the bed or whatever. Yeah, that's right? happened too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we all have had that happen. Um, what are some misconceptions that you've had that not you've had, but uh, generally, but generally yeah. the clients, both male and female, because mm -hmm. we get both. Yeah. Uh, what are kind of some misconceptions that, you know, people think about this industry because i mean not just here you yeah. have a real life at yeah. home too where to but, start <laughs> yeah well i mean just go over like the top ones you can think of the like, top, top ones a few of them the top ones they're really negative though so i don't that's okay yeah i mean okay what, what like you know because we're here to like show you're human right yeah so i mean you look human you're not a robot not you know you know of no yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah uh but you know, what exactly are some of those misconceptions? Like, what, what do people generally think that, you know, we can stomp out right here because they can physically come see you and right, talk to you? Right, right. What are, what are things that are you know are... Definitely people in my personal life, since most people in my personal life have never been to a brothel, um, they think either we um, have drug issues or we are here for our last resort, or we're not educated, which is mostly not the case. Like, most of the girls in this house do have a pretty broad education. So, yeah, those definitely are, like, the top ones that I get. Yeah. Um, other ones are that we will just do whatever for whatever amount of money, like, that we don't have standards. Oh, you, you have standards? Okay. Uh, um, shh, don't tell. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, yeah, you're an independent contractor. Yeah, I'm an independent so, I mean, contractor. You know, where you can say no. Yeah. And I mean, 
even our company, we're never going to tell you have to do right like anything. Yeah, we, we're not forcing you to be anywhere. Exactly. We're, yeah. I mean, we don't even force you to sit out in the parlors. Yeah, you can sit in your rooms and yep. hang out and watch movies. We or do take whatever. a nap. Yeah, yeah, take a yeah. nap on your sh- as long as you're out for those moments when people come in or right. your appointments. Yep. Because I mean, you. You create your money. Like exactly. It's how much you yep. do. You, compared you get to, out what you put in. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you're just yep. sitting there doing nothing or if you're passed out on a couch. Yeah. No one's going to. Right. You know, no one, you're not going to be seen. Yeah. Or talk to. Yep. So. Yeah. So that's definitely. Yeah. That's a big one, too. They're like, well, you're you have nothing to do right now. Why don't you just, you know, play a game of pool with me? And then that t- turns into let's have a drink. And and then, you know, two hours has gone by and. That's that's your time that you're, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's your time. It, nobody is entitled to my time, and I'm not entitled to your time, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That that is definitely accurate. You know, yeah. you want to, like, and I mean, it's talking with anyone, right? Like, yep. when you're sitting there, you know, are you going to waste my time you know, right. sitting there talking, yeah. or do you want to, like, actually do something? It's any, yeah. any business. Yeah, any business is like you know, that. Yeah. You yeah. can't just go into a business and loiter. That's uh, yeah. That's yeah. You know, <laughs> even retail. I mean, why would you be? I, I wouldn't want to walk around. I wouldn't want to stare at the same product for an hour or talk to someone. Right. <laughs> just. I, I mean, I used to work retail a long time ago. That was yeah. the worst thing. Yeah. Like, they call them time vampires. Yeah. Oh, like, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Um, because they'd sit there and they'd talk to you over mm-hmm. and over, and if a lot of newer people or even some people are just liked it yeah they'd sit there and then other people wouldn't get help yeah and that's the same thing here it's pretty much the same thing. if someone's yeah. at the bar and they want yep. only your time but they're not you know compensating, compensating yeah paying for yeah. it you know they're taking out of time you could be doing other things yep pretty much so, and i'm always doing something yeah if nobody's here i'm always on social media or like what are you what are you doing on social media though because that that was going to be the next action that was the next today. one um so what 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 do you do? Because obviously, obviously, marketing's a little different. Mm-hmm. So because you're independent contractors, right? So marketing wise, you're the one marketing your own business. Yeah. Yep. So what what do you do on a? Let's just start like in the moment you get up at like one p.m. Uh, one p.m. <laughs> I'm kidding. She I know you are. Um, <laughs> I see her in the morning when I'm getting coffee. Right. <laughs> um, but, you know, what, what do you do when you're getting up? You know, obviously you get up. Get I going. have a routine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I always you. have a routine when I'm here. So I get up, take a shower. I'll get ready for the day. And then when I'm get up, done getting ready for the day, um, I do my – I take my pictures. I have a ring light in my room so I can take some good pictures. And then after that – then I'll go out in the parlor because I don't like to be in my room by myself. It's pretty boring. And um, then I'll edit my pictures and then I'll post them to Twitter with like all my information. And I like to do cute little quotes and and things like that. And then after I post them on Twitter, I'll answer my messages on Twitter and then I'll go over to the Bunny Ranch message board and then post my pictures on there. And I'll check out like our forum and comment on anybody's um uh, post that they have on there and post my own thing and then I'll go write the new members and say like welcome to the message board and then wish everybody happy birthday and then after that <laughs> when I'm if I'm if I am working on a new special I make my own little like I don't know what what do you call them it's like the flyer thingies but it's online yeah yeah you like, know what I'm talking about ad, like, like an ad advertisement ad, like, yeah it's like a yeah, it's, it's like a sale or it's pretty or much or yeah that's that's like what that. I do and then if I have ideas that come to me I write them in my phone like what I can do when I'm in my off time at home how I can do promotion there and because that's pretty much our only advertising is the message board and Twitter it's a very like gray area because we are sex workers yeah, yeah. so yeah and then after that I go eat which doesn't happen till like three o'clock or four o'clock so yeah and my shift is noon yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you just jump out there and start snapping selfies? No. Exactly. No, I don't so, do that. I plan a lot. I plan anything from my nails to my outfit to my makeup and hair. And then um, location. That's like the first one I have to think of. Where can I shoot at that it's not going to be like too many people or noisy or anything. And that's how I started with my video. And that's yeah. where when I did my video, that's why I chose such a secluded location. 
And, um, yeah, that's a big one. And then I like to have things that I like or shows my personality in, in my video. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah and it's kind of changed. So I do want to change my video and do something a little different. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this, the weather is warming up today. Yeah. It's going to be 70. here. Yeah. Thank so I, mean, God. I know at home back where you're from, it's probably mm-hmm. going to be about the same. Uh, it is very, very similar. similar yep. So, um, definitely look forward to it. Cause I know yeah. you'll, I know probably by summer you'll probably have something new. Yeah. So. I'm definitely, um, yeah, I'm trying to find. The problem is we have a lot of tourists where I live and there's always a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. And they want to ask questions or take pictures or it's happened before. (laughs) Jeez. Yeah. (laughs) I I mean, I I get it. We used to do some of the shoots off set. Outside uh, and yeah. Mm -hmm. And people would like, what are you doing? You know. Yeah. Or like any of that kind of stuff. People are curious for sure. It's kind of one of those things where it's like, oh, we're just shooting a, you know, model photo shoot. It should be like normal now so, since there's yeah. so many social in, social media influence, influencers. Can't even talk. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So obviously self-care is important, right? Mm-hmm. So we went over like, you know, fitness because obviously you do a lot of mm-hmm. fitness to stay in shape. Yeah. Um, obviously this industry do keep in shape you have to mm-hmm. you have to yeah um but what other self-care tips like obviously you put on makeup mm-hmm. you know so you have a good makeup routine mm-hmm. you know but like is there any uh, other cleaning or stuff that you have to do in general in this kind of industry yeah any anything any industry i think but since well, this is one is a little unique it is unique yeah so what i like to do is sometimes which I haven't really been doing lately. Um, I used to be big into reading, but not so much anymore. Sometimes there's not any time for it. So I like to read um, erotic stories, Okay. which is something you probably didn't know. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think so. I don't think I saw you with one of those. No, no, it's on my phone. Oh. I don't have books. <laughs> I don't either. So. <laughs> so I, like, I have my school oh. books, but that's about it. Um, yeah, I like to read erotic stories or sit in, like, sometimes I'll just sit in my room and just decompress. And yeah. I, if I don't want to be around other people, I'm not saying anybody else is bad or anything, just sometimes I just need peace and quiet. And me time, right? exactly, yeah. it's me time. But that's like a lot where my, my workout time comes in is my, that's my me time. Yeah. I like to put in my, my headphones and, and, uh, just go to town on whatever I feel like. I want to do sometimes I want to run well I can't do that now but um or sometimes I'll lift weights or go for a walk or whatever and that's my me time I can think about things and I don't know just kind of go over situations that are in my head that I'm like I could have handled that better or whatever yeah yeah I get back to it and yeah kind of decompress but I do that when I'm at home too I like to go for runs and walks and Get away from everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, knowing that this industry is not just sex, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What are some of the other, like, obviously we heard about the food party, right? Right. But, you know, what are some of the other things? Because people come in here for a number of different things. Oh, my gosh. So many things. are unique to Mm -hmm. than other people. Like, every single lady sees different types of clients. Yep. You know, sometimes... You might even see the same client, but they have different needs based on what they want. That's true. Yeah. So, like... What are some of the like? What are what are some of your clients like? Like not obviously specifics, mm-hmm. but like what exactly you know is like those things they come for you? Like mm-hmm. you know, are you going out like a uh, night at the club or mm-hmm. whatever the case may be? Okay, right? like or a yeah. beautiful sushi dinner, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I I have a lot of clients that come in for companionship, mm-hmm. which is. Uh, it's not just sex. It's a lot. Uh, conversation is a huge one. Conversation, um, just sitting in the bath and sharing a glass of wine or bottle of wine rather. And, um, just talking and having an actual yeah. conversation outside of their life and outside of my life. And, and we find different levels to connect on. And so, yeah, companionship is huge. It's not just sex. Um, and also with that, there comes like a lot of sensuality and it's just something that's, I don't know. It's, that's what a lot of my clients come to me for. And yes, and I'm trying to get more, but, um, yeah, like night out on town type thing or 
like slumber parties or because I love to watch horror movies. I want to have a party where or multiple parties where we can just watch horror movies and eat popcorn and enjoy each other's time and not be rushed and kind of do that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because that stuff's fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, that really is mm-hmm. like a lot of fun because especially because, you know, sitting there. Um, especially you do have one of the bigger rooms in this mm-hmm. house. Yeah. I mean, you have plenty of room to sit there, cuddle up, watch yeah. a movie, yep. you know, or even go out to the movies. Right. Um, yeah. A lot of, like Nevada has no mask mandate anymore. Yep. Um, and I mean, even in general, they like, you can just relax and have a good time. Yeah. Cause you know, it's one of those things in our industry that we, that we know, but other people don't like mm-hmm. that people sometimes, you know, you might not know what's going on in their lives. Yeah, right. You might not be there to, like, kind of understand mm-hmm. what is needed. Yeah. Um, and you guys spend a lot of time learning, especially with clients. Yeah. Because you have tons of clients from yeah. everywhere. Mm-hmm. So you know that you're going to learn and eventually uh, and be able to help them. Yeah. Whether they're coming here because, you know, the wife um, passed away years ago or right, yeah. is terminally ill and yep. she's actually the one paying for it. Right. I've heard those stories. Yep. I definitely have clients like that yep. or newly divorced or things oh, like that. Yeah. yeah. They just want somebody to kind of like be there for them and not just in a sexual way. Yeah. 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 So um, let's jump a little bit to more sexual then. Okay. Like what exactly are those things that really you like uh-huh. as far as sexual goes? So like, mm-hmm. like you know, obviously uh, anything from BDSM to mm-hmm. what? What exactly you know? Because let's we've kind of softened it a little bit, right? right? You know, but what exactly are like your specialties or what you actually like? What do I actually like? like? Look to come into? <laughs> I mean, people should really understand. Um, I don't do the whole BDSM thing unless you really want me to, but I'm not like the person for that. But yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, I do. I don't know. I have a lot of different things. I'm very sensual. I like to be touched and kissed. And and um, I know it sounds kind of weird, but I do get a lot of clients. And I'm the same way. I like to be like feel like I'm wanted. And like, I know you want me to make you feel like you're wanted. And yeah, that's like a huge one for me. And yeah, so I don't know. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty... I don't know. I I like kissing and rubbing and touching and I like, I like having sex. I mean, I'm, I I enjoy it. Yeah. Like that was the other thing I was going to say when I first started, like a lot of the girls made like seemed like they were like, they would shame you. (laughs) Nobody here, nobody here for enjoying sex. And I enjoy it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. There is, Mm -hmm. um, there's several ladies who, who enjoy, enjoy it? There, yeah. There, there's ladies who still do this to this day. Yeah. Who've been here, um, a few years. Yeah. Definitely, that's they just they yeah. they don't need the money. They do it because they the, and you know, it's they enjoyable. Enjoy it. I mean, yeah. obviously the money's good. Yeah. But you know they do it because they enjoy what they do. Or we they want to. We them. like. Yeah. I mean, like you yeah. said, with education, there's mm-hmm. some people here who have uh, psychology degrees. Right. Um, there's nurses. Mm-hmm. There's all these different types of uh, people who some of them paid. For their degrees from doing this. Right. Actually. Right. Um, and others, you know, take a vacation. Yeah. Come here once, twice a year. Yep. And then, you know, pay off a couple bills. Sure. Or, you know, pay for yeah. kids' education or whatever mm-hmm. the case may be. Yep. You know, and that's a huge thing. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely. I mean, definitely hit her up if you need a good massage. Yeah. Um, if you know, <laughs> it's a lot better. I do like giving uh, massages, she, but I like getting massages too. Yeah. Um, yeah. she's definitely good at it and she hits the right <laughs> spot. Cause I pulled a muscle here like uh, a few months ago Yeah, and then she actually worked out a few kinks and actually got it out there. So, um, definitely a good thing. So, but Autumn, how exactly do people contact you? Like what, like what, what are some good methods to get a hold of you and what are some do's and don'ts mm-hmm. on contacting? You? Okay, sure. So you can reach me by email. So if you go on the Sage Branch, the Sage Brush Ranch was <laughs> the Sage Brush website. Um, my on my profile, my email is on there. Um, you can contact me that way, or you can contact me through Twitter, which is fine too. Um, and also, I have a website, and you can contact me through there. And 
Um, so it's, it's pretty easy to contact me. Um, and what else? And what not to do? Please, please do not email me and ask me for my rates because I cannot legally discuss my rates over email. Um, that's probably the only one. Like, I'm fine with um, what you're looking for. That's really what I want to know is what you're looking for and why you emailed me. Um, yeah, but please don't ask me for rates. I can't. I can't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, federal and state law yes, are prohibited. We're not say, allowed like, to. Anything. Yeah. So I'm not being rude or anything. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. They have yeah. to be physically here mm -hmm. um, in your room. In a room, in, not in the, in the parlor. Yes. And every lady is different. Yes. So like, just like we respect your privacy, the ladies respect each other's privacy right. because we don't discuss pricing between each yeah, other. Yeah, we will not. Yeah. I don't, don't even know what anyone charges Yeah. Um, because it's not my job. Mm -hmm. Um. The only people are you and the cashier and accounting. That's it. That's pretty much. And that's, yeah. and the client, obviously. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we don't, that that's a huge thing. And yeah. I understand, like, if you're planning a bachelor party or you're planning something like right. that. Right. Um, but, yeah, you just got to come here and talk to them. And yeah. if you talk through via email, mm -hmm. you can definitely get a good kind of a idea of a deposit you need to make. Sure, yeah. And, like, that way also you can discuss and know how long she needs to take. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah. Yeah. And that way, she if she needs to bring another lady in, or if she can't, or if she doesn't want to do those kind of things, or if I'm not here, and yeah, that's another not, one yeah, too, or, and say, you know, what are my dates? I have my tour dates for the rest of the year posted okay. on Twitter. There should be on the website, um, and they're also on my website. So yeah, there's no like, please do your research. <laughs> So they can email you. Yes. What is your email address? It's autumnverlow at sagebrushranch.com. And it's autumn, A-U-T-U-M-N-V-E-R-L-O-T. There you yeah, go. Yeah, it's sagebrush. And if you want to know my website, it's the same, it's, it's the same thing. It's autumnverlow.com. Yep. And I have all my current specials on there, too, if you want to. And specialties. If you don't know what you're looking for, I have all my specialties listed. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if you go to sagebrushranch.com right now and you click on her profile, mm -hmm. um, you can actually see her video. Yep. And you can uh, kind of get to know her and you can email her too. Mm -hmm. Like I said, email is going to be the best option. Yeah. Um, yes. On anyone here. So, yeah. uh, I appreciate you coming out and doing this. It's, Thank you. <laughs> um, you know, a little less nerve wracking now, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Definitely. Yeah. I was yeah. really nervous. Gotcha. Yeah. My armpits were sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it happened. It happened, right? I mean, it's a natural thing. Like, right. You know, we're all nervous. I'm yeah. nervous because, you know, you're sitting next to me. I'm afraid she's going to punch me. Uh, I'm I'm kidding. She's not going to yet. Uh, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> well, um, well, thank you again. I appreciate it. Um, again, guys, this is the Bunny Ranch Podcast. I'm James. And if you need to contact us at the Bunny Ranch, it's james at bunnyranch.com. You can visit bunnyranch.com, sagebrushranch.com, and all those great things. And you'll be able to get another podcast right here on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and much more. So thank you again, and we'll see you on the next episode. Have a good one.